हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो प्रीवियसली वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू वेक्टर एडिशन एंड वी हैव कवर्ड द ट्राइंगल एंड पैरलोग्राम लॉ ऑफ वेक्टर एडिशन नाउ वील डिस्कस एन इम्पॉर्टेंट वेक्टर एडिशन कॉन्सेप्ट विच इज द पॉलीगॉन लॉ ऑफ वेक्टर एडिशन ओके सो द ट्राइंगल एंड पैरलोग्राम लॉ ऑफ वेक्टर एडिशन इज एप्लीकेबल ओनली फॉर टू वेक्टर क्वांटिटीज एक्टिंग एट अ सर्टन पॉइंट ट्राइंगल एंड पैरलोग्राम द पैरलोग्राम इज बेसिकली a slight modification in the triangle the same idea but the polygon law of vector addition this is important because this is applied when we have more than two vector quantities involved okay more than two vector quantities whereas in triangle and parallelogram it was two vector quantities only okay so let us understand the polygon law of vector addition suppose we have multiple vector quantities involved okay let us say we have like this we have one vector like this another vector like this then another vector like this and again uh, we have another vector like this all are acting simultaneously but this okay the vectors are like this a vector b vector c vector and d vector so in order to apply the polygon law of vector addition we have to arrange these vectors by shifting operation in such a way that they represent the sides of a polygon n sided polygon if n vectors are involved they should form a n minus 1 sided polygon okay then the resultant vector will form the last side so we have to arrange them in a particular way such that they form sides of a polygon through shifting technique so first let us uh, draw the a vector a vector here this a vector then draw b vector okay all we are doing is that we are shifting them and forming sides of a polygon then c vector c vector we can shift it to its top bottom towards left or right we know shifting is allowed without any change in the magnitude and direction i have already discussed about shifting in the previous video in the triangle vector addition video so you please check out that so now we'll draw c vector then we have this d vector we'll draw it here let's see okay so now this is uh, forming a polygon but there is one side missing the closing side of the polygon so an important point to note here is that all these vectors which were here just randomly uh in and uh, they were randomly there we just arrange them through shifting in to form a polygon an important thing here is that all these vectors are in the same order 
okay this is d vector all these vectors are in the same order it means a vector is acting here from tail to head then starting from the head of a vector the tail of v vector starts then again starting from the head or tip of v vector the tail of c vector starts then again starting from the head of c vector the tail of d vector starts so all these vectors a b c and d they are in the same order they have just been shifted around without any change in their magnitude and direction to form sides of a polygon so according to the polygon law of vector addition the resultant vector will simply be the closing side of this polygon taken in the opposite order this is the resultant vector okay the closing side of the polygon taken in the opposite order this is the resultant vector so here multiple vector quantities were there we shifted them around without any change in their magnitude and direction and we formed we tried to form a polygon with all these vector quantities taken in the same order the acting vector quantities in the same order without any change in their magnitude and direction then the resultant vector is the closing side of the polygon taken in the opposite order here r vector is in the opposite order because the tail of r vector is starting from the tail of the first vector involved a vector and the head of the resultant vector is touching the head of the last vector of the system which is t vector now if this r vector would have been in the opposite direction okay if it would have been in the opposite direction then it would have been called to be in the same order but here it is not like that it is in the opposite order only then it is the resultant okay only then it is called as the resultant okay so this is the polygon law of vector addition an interesting thing associated with polygon law of vector addition is that this polygon law is basically repeated application or continu continuous application of the triangle law of vector addition we have already discussed about the triangle law so this polygon law can be treated or it can be viewed as a repeated application of the triangle law what i i'm trying to say let me demonstrate it okay here a vector and v vector let us treat them separately okay so pay attention here and see what i'm doing here only first let us take a vector and b vector we will not make any change in their direction and magnitude a vector and b vector let us apply the triangle law here the resultant vector will be this okay this will be the resultant vector let's call it r1 now let us draw the c vector here c vector okay the c vector the tail of the c vector starts from the head of this resultant vector of a and b now consider r1 vector and c vector okay apply triangle law the resultant will be this this is the resultant let us call it r2 vector let us draw the 
d vector from here okay d vector okay hope i am not uh, it's not confusing okay we have drawn the d vector here no change just we have drawn the d vector here now let us consider r2 vector this r2 vector and d vector now this applying triangle law this will give us the final resultant vector r okay so this is repeated application of triangle law first we apply triangle law here a vector b vector to get us r1 vector this we apply triangle law now we have again applied the triangle law vector addition to r1 vector this this r1 vector and c vector to get the r2 vector okay r1 vector and c vector we apply triangle law to get the r2 vector then we took the d vector here and r2 vector again we applied the triangle law and we got finally the r vector so same thing repeated application of triangle law okay this is polygon this is repeated application of triangle law same thing okay we get the same result r vector and r vector so polygon law is basically repeated application of triangle law continuous application of triangle law okay so this is the basic concept related to polygon law of vector addition